I own a small digital marketing agency, Facebook ads, Instagram agency for small businesses. So excited to talk Love to you it. guys. Of course. Um, what, what can we help you with? Traffic Labs is the name of our business, of course. Um, What's it called, brother? I Let's make sure to, we get it out there. What's it uh, called? Vital Traffic Labs is the name of our business. Vital Traffic and, Labs. Uh, Love it. We also have a blog, Two Guys Build the Biz, on YouTube where we document stuff just like, you know, kind of following your lead here. So <laughs> Good, man. But what? Uh, my, my question, I just wanted to talk about um, data privacy. I know for a lot of our clients, it's, uh, it's a concern. You know, people are worried about targeting being taken away, you know, household income, basically those big um, data collections that uh, yeah, I get it. companies have been leveraging. To me, as an advertiser, I look at it as a positive because it's really going to make competition, you know, more difficult, more difficult to target. But in reality, you talked about like owning data. I think there's a big opportunity for people to just advertise smarter and, um, you know, really do a better job rather than using these big data sets that who knows how they even got the thing. So um, I was just curious, like, what your opinion on? Just like the, the privacy changes yeah, with I Facebook get it. and I get it. how that's going to evolve. Ken, you go first. I'll go second. I mean, I think that one of, the, one of the cultural or historical factors that impedes Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg is Facebook has always had a low opinion of privacy, has always felt that we're in the business of sharing information, mm-hmm. of communicating, yep. of creating communities, yep. and, that, and that our consumers yes. are less concerned about privacy yes. than, than maybe some other people yep. are. Increasingly, however, cons- we're, we're learning that consumers are more concerned about privacy than Mark Zuckerberg. Can, Witness him yeah. being compelled to appear before Congress. Ken, real quick on that, because I think it's an important point. You know how people like to say things and then do something else? Do you believe, this is just one man's opinion, do you believe this conversation about people caring about privacy is more conversation versus what they actually do in real life, in their behavior? Let me Because it's you, important. Uh, yeah. It is. I, I think that clearly, historically, Americans are less concerned, are, are less agitated and sure. concerned about privacy than yes. Western Europeans. That's are. right. Witness the yes. EU rules on privacy that have just been imposed. However, if, if you think about what, what the advertisers say the future is, yes. targeted ads yes. that, that feel don't feel like ads but yep. feel like informational. Yep. So imagine, Gary, you're walking yep. down the street. Yep. We have your GPS. Yep. We know that you bought a sport jacket at Barney's yep. two months ago. Yep. You're only two blocks from Barney's, yes. Gary. Uh, if you go into Barney's now, yes. we'll give you 20% off yes. your new sport jacket. Yes. Now, how does Gary respond to that? Tremendously. Well, or you might see that as a service tremendously, as you say, or, but some Garys might yeah. say, how the hell do you know so much about me? Well, they're going to know. And I'm concerned about that. They're going to know because the cat's out of the bag, right? I think the bigger part here is, so my big thing on this is, now we know. Now, listen, if you're a common sense American now, you're not like, what? You, you don't think when you go on the internet, like, it's impossible. Now you know. And so the more interesting conversation comes next. This gets into a much more interesting macro convo about how humans work. There are humans that are scared of terrorism because it's pushed on them as a conversation, right? right. And then there's um, you know individuals who are like, hmm, if terrorism was as scary as I'm told it is, well then a car would be driving into Times Square every single day of the week running into 39 people because it's fundamentally impossible. I will use my logical mind and so people make logical and emotional decisions. I want my data to be everywhere because I want to save time. Time is more valuable to me than anything else. But but Gary, let's let, let's say you're right. Yeah. But let's say that 30- By the way, real quick, Derek Derek, real quick, two things, because I don't want to, please hang, but I think Ken and I are about to go in a rabbit hole, so I want to be respectful. Two things, brother. Number one, if Facebook had no targeting, none, zero, you know, like television, I, I would tell you that it would be the best ad product in the world, because what would happen is you would still have the attention of the end consumer, and yes, we would be guessing, and it wouldn't be fun for me to put wine ads in a feed where people don't drink wine, but guess what? I see car ads and beer ads, if I watched a commercial, 90% of the time on television during a sporting event, and I don't do either. So the price of Facebook ads 
to just get overall awareness would still be a remarkably better deal than 90% of the alternatives as long as the ads con- money continues to not go in there by the big holding companies because they haven't figured out how to make enough margin in there. Yeah, but wait, let Please. me, let me I wanna, I'm not you should. sure. I, I, you don't need to I, agree I'm not sure with I everything again. Let's it. talk about it. The, the 97% of, of Facebook's revenues come from advertising. Yeah. And, and those revenues come largely from advertisers who say, I like the fact that you can target yeah. ads on Facebook. Today. It's not just about today. awareness. I, yeah. Today. And so if but, I but, can't target, if I don't have the data. It's Ken. It's because everyone's wrong about the awareness on Facebook. Ken, the awareness Facebook does is remarkably better than the DTC work that's happening on Facebook. Every entrepreneur is laughing at every big company in the world right now because they're making a fortune on the targeting capabilities on Facebook. To your point, what people don't realize is the real value of Facebook right now is top of the funnel awareness, but all the fucking madmen are too artsy fartsy and think a commercial is more special than a Facebook video. But, but wait, you're, Please. But, but you're, you're a guy who, would, who, would, uh, who doesn't like banner ads, Hate right? Hate them. Isn't, isn't what you're talking about a, the equivalent of a banner ad on Of Facebook? course, but Ken, I ran banner ads for Wine Library in 1996 because they got 14% click-throughs back then. I don't like anything or I don't, hate anything. I like what customers are doing this second. I day, tra- I day trade attention. Brother, I day trade attention. I have no feelings for anything. I can't wait to make videos in nine years saying Facebook's fucking shit. How the fuck are you guys still in Facebook? How do you not understand AI? How do you not understand VR? How do you not understand influencer marketing on boo-boo.com? I have zero emotion. Once you have emotion, you're vulnerable. This is about day trading attention every second of the day. And the top of the funnel brand work at scale to move Coca-Cola and BMW lives in one place, Facebook. Almost no one's talking about that. All right, but the, Please. You, 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 you say something that's pregnant with, with uh, questions, which is yes. if in fact seven to nine years from now, yes. Facebook may be disrupted. Yes. Uh, I mean, I understand someone in a garage, Yes. At, be it Steve Jobs in yeah. a garage or Sally's or, in her garage right okay. now. But what what is in the how do you how do you disrupt to, uh, net, with network effects benefiting yeah. Yeah. A, a Facebook? Yeah. Two point two billion consumers. What what is you, the garage? You, you would have said you would have said the same. Th- well, first of all, platform changes. Yeah. So right now we're talking about visual in here. Hey Alexa, who's Mark Zuckerberg? You know, when we start going, when we, when, you know, I never knew Mark's middle name. Mark Elliott, Alexa, stop. Ken, you know this, when we move to a different platform, all bets off. I far, you know, there's only two companies I'm really bullish on, Facebook and Amazon. You know, when we go to voice, 2.2 billion get reset. You would have said the same thing about IBM. You would have said the same thing about Microsoft. You would have said the same thing about Google. You know that. Yeah, you know that. I, I, but actually, I, I well, said, you feel out of all the years of disruption, from Woolworths to Walmart, from all the years, you're telling me now this is the one. It's Facebook. It's this no, one. No, this no, one I, can't be but disrupted. I, I, I have a heart. I mean, I. Having written, for instance, yes. covering the Microsoft trial yes. in 2000, yes. and where the, the Justice Department yes. claimed, and the yeah. judge, yeah. the original judge, yeah. ruled that they should be broken up, yep. I thought it was a crazy decision because the a internet crazy decision. and social network That's right. to break them up. That's right. I, I have a harder time with, with the benefits of network effects. Because you haven't spent time on blockchain enough. You haven't spent enough time on, vo- you just haven't spent enough time. But I watch, I watch Facebook buy Instagram That's and right. buy people who, potential, companies that could potentially sure. disrupt them. And the government's stepping back and allowing them to do Listen, that. Listen, if I you say, want the government to get involved, good news, sometimes I, they, I'm not saying you do. Yeah. Good news, sometimes they do. I'll tell you right now, Amazon is far, far more along in the leverage they have than Facebook well, is. Well, and I noticed you left Google off your list because you see Amazon I, I don't threatening think, them. Bro, my POV on Google and Apple is, it already happened to them through the merit of, of actual merit of business. Look, I believe left on merit, Facebook and Amazon get disrupted. I feel like that happens. I feel like there are moments in time that governments like to get involved because they get scared. I feel like Europe is 
more on privacy just because it's an older version of entitlement than America is. It's just 300 years ahead of us. You know? But they also had World War II and Hitler and I get it. And I get it. Fascism. I get it. But you know, look, it's not stopping nationalism across the world, right? So regulating Google is not going to change, you know, people's, you know, wiring of thank God, slightly more love than hate. And that always is gonna play itself out. Derek, I, I also think that your point is exactly right, brother, and I'm excited for the future of your business. It will be a practitioner's game. It is now, and you know this, even with all the data, to your point, the data has made a lot of advertisers lazy and not good. You know this, Derek. Even if you're an amateur, you could be good at Facebook because it's so underpriced and so good, right? Admit it, admit it right Right, now. Exactly. Like you couldn't believe how good you were at it at first, knowing deep down in your heart, fuck, I don't even know anything yet. True or not? Yeah, for for a local local business to just take a at bat at running Facebook ads, they could do some serious damage without really knowing much at all. And all of a sudden, um, you're the you darling know, of the ice cream national, truck. Yep. <laughs> exactly. But when it comes to like a, a national campaign or, you know, like you talked about cracking Amazon or getting people to the, doing sales on their own e-com store or Shopify, like that's where it gets, um, you know, more technical and where, you know, leveraging data. Yes, but, play, but let me tell sure. you this, as somebody who lived through early internet and then live through early Google AdWords, the C players are still making way too much money on Facebook. That means the biggest yeah. companies in the world are not pouring the proper amount of money in there. Derek, your game, your game with Facebook is to continue to hope that the companies that Ken wrote about in Frenemies continue to think that they can make more margin on their own DSP and programmatic and on television because as long as they keep doing the wrong thing for the biggest clients in the world, you and I will continue to eat in their selfishness. Exactly, well said, I love it. Thank you, you got it man, take care. Uh